Oh, we got a, we got a special guest on the phone. Right, yes. Guys, hold on. I can never love you like you love me. Who else can say they're best friends with the world's greatest wrestler? Hulk Hogan is on the line. On the line. What's up, Hootie? Hootie up. What up? Hootie up. Hootie up. What are you doing? <clears throat> oh man, that uh, punch in the face is like the one heard around the world. You know, I. Uh, Everybody's talking about it. Howard talked sure. about it for two days. Uh, Howard Hunter well, News called in. Let me turn the start radio down for a second. Yeah, I, uh, you know, where I was sitting, I was sitting away, hiding over in the corner, there, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because I wanted to get a good shot of it. Because, you know, I know Mick Foley's pretty stiff. <clears throat> you know, and I didn't want to, and, and then Eric went even farther over. We were hiding. Dude, let me tell you something. <clears throat> Everybody's talking about it. But if you were there, and I was probably 20 feet away, 30 feet away. At, 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 at best. You there. It really looked like he broke your nose. I mean, he, he connected. And when you got up, I didn't know what your attitude would be, but you got a lot of respect for the boys from that thing. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. They all came up and, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, well, I think I might need to get some something to, <clears throat> something to you know, check out this nose. And that's what, thank God I was kind of near where the EMT guy stands stands by, but, yeah. Everybody was every, man. I, I, I tell you right now, you know, I'm there with you, uh, and uh, and and there's there's just a there's a sense of great. There, I don't know there's a great aura uh, among in that building right now. There's just a, just a lot of good vibe in that building right now. Well, it's, I'm kind of glad you brought that up since you're there with me. I actually need to talk to you, you know, so I might as well just throw it out since you brought it up. But um, it's kind of weird in this business, you know. First off, I don't no disrespect you, and I don't mean to talk down to you. You know, there are certain things that happen in the ring, you know, in certain positions and where to stand. And I wasn't there for your interview, but, you know, I hear everything. And they said you did a great job, but it's like first time, it's like the first time ever if I was to have my own radio show and talk on the radio, you would tell me and you would critique me. Yeah. And there's things that you learn, you know, shortcuts and timing and a cadence. And I don't know everything about your business, you know, turn that buttons up and down, but like I heard your first time in the ring <clears throat> was uh, a good performance, but there were physicalities, hard camera stuff, yeah. you know, whatever. There was just a bunch of things, but nothing that wasn't expected to happen. But you are there with me, and it's kind of like you get a ton of heat when you're there with me, which is cool. But, you know, like when I get, when I get in this business, I did it on my own, and, and I didn't have any help, and, and that was just the way it was back then. You know, if I was to ever... You know, um, run a car lot or something like that. Stingray Steve might help me. But now, since you are there with me, that thing that happened with Mick Foley is kind of like, <laughs> it's in, in a way, it's an, an initiation into the wrestling business, which is cool. And you were really cool about that, and you didn't, you didn't have an attitude, and you took a heck of a shot. I don't care what anybody says. It can be he ha ha time. I was there. I saw what happened to you. You took a heck of a shot. But that's twice Hogan's been there when you've gotten punched. And- yeah, but now there's, yeah, but now, but now he's, uh, creatively, you know, found, found a little niche, and I didn't have anything to do with this. So will there be any more punching on, on, on Bubba Hogan, I mean, or, or next time somebody oh. punches him, uh, you know, and spuds him, is somebody gonna put a, you know, maybe a stop to it? Well, I was kinda going there. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, 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 yeah. But he, now he's kinda like made his, like, and nobody's telling Bubba what to do there. He does what he does best. He's Bubba the Loves Ones, but, now, creatively, he's made kind of like a, a bonding. He First off, it started off with him telling me what a nice guy Kevin Nash was. And for years, Bubba always said, you know, these guys are smart asses and they're troublemakers and they're cancer to the business and da-da-da-da-da, which is true. And now, all of a sudden, Bubba's been around a couple months, and him and Kevin have had some conversations, and, and Kevin has a way to, you know, put, it, put the charm on it and everything. But the point I'm making now is Bubba... Nobody's telling Bubba what to do. We're letting Bubba be Bubba the Love Sponge because nobody can produce Bubba the Love Sponge except him. He's making some decisions now by running with these NWO guys that I'm not going to stop it because if it works, it works. But I'm just telling you, my brother, you're choosing your own path in this business now. Hey, man, I'm telling you right now. And, no, and I'm telling you right and you better be careful. Yeah, those choosing, guys Those guys are money. A, you're, you're choosing a little bit of a weird path to go down. That's just, just all I want to say. I'm not exactly happy well, about it. Well, I mean, it. you used to be down that path. I mean, yeah, I know. I know, are, you, I know. You're the one that sold out. No, I know that, but I'm just telling you, just be careful. That's all I'm saying. I'll be careful, but I mean, I, you know, I, I, I mean, I'm a, 
I'm a little leery of Hall, but man, Kevin Nash is money, and and you know Kevin Nash is money. That guy's that that guy could keep that whole thing together. And let me ask you a question: What are they officially calling? The, I know you can't call them NWO. Are you calling them the Outsiders, the band, or uh, the Wolf Pack? Well, we we uh, legally we we should know that we should have known that yesterday, but I was all tied up in in Orlando yesterday trying to rewrite these shows and and. Uh, Get the next two shows and walk down pay per view together. But that legally, the legal department was supposed to find out. We would love to call them the Wolf Pack. Right. I, I don't know if we can. You know, PAC or PK. I don't know what. I don't even know if you can say the name. But right. I would prefer not to call them the band. But my concern was, and I know you don't even understand what I'm saying right now. And I know you don't because you've just been in this business a short while. But you need to be careful the path you're choosing because. That spud for Mick Foley could be just the beginning if you're going to hang out with these guys. Yeah, but I mean, the bottom line is, I mean, now I'm going to get heat with you, so don't get mad at me. No, 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 no. No, no you don't have heat. You don't have heat with me no, yet. No, but I'm going to get. I'm going to get heat with you right now, okay? Because I, I can't. I can't keep my mouth shut on this one. So don't. I'm. I'm. A, I'm. As your friend, I'm pre-apologizing, okay? Right. So I'm just going to let you know that. So don't get mad at me. I, I'm profusely apologizing before because it's going to get heat. But if I was hanging out with those guys, you know. Nash and Hall and 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 X Pac, Six Pac, whatever they call them, uh, you know, I wouldn't be getting. I would have zero hits on me right now. I put all my eggs in your basket, and I'm old for two. I get my ass kicked. Well, <laughs> the thing is, Spicy, you agree? You know, well, yeah, yeah, whatever. But I'm just trying to tell you, that these guys don't. You know, up until the other day, they didn't even have contracts. They're such loose cannons. You, know, you can say whatever you want about Kevin. I know Kevin real well, and he can put on the charm. Like when he wants something or when he's trying to reel somebody in or when he wants to be best friends with somebody all of a sudden out of nowhere, you know. But these guys are loose cannons, and I'm telling you, I don't know how long they're going to last. And and a lot of the guys back in the back, and I don't think you understand it yet, have a hard-on against these guys right. and don't like them. And I hate to see you well, that's exactly, that's exactly where I... Turn into a sitting duck all of a sudden. I know, but that's exactly where I belong, my friend. I know I'm being hard-headed, but that's exactly where I belong because, you know, that's... That's the general consensus among me, too. They have a hard-on for me, too, so I might as well... Oh. Oh, All right, well, I'm cool with it, you know, as long as you understand what you're doing, because... Yeah, I mean, you know, the bottom line is, if I'm going to be there, I might as well be happy, and I like hanging out with these guys, and, you know, I mean, you know, this isn't my... Uh, I want to put my best foot forward, but I don't want to be miserable while I'm there, and you know as well as I do, prior to hooking up with these guys, was I not miserable? Yeah, you were. Okay. And I, I, do, I do admit this works, but like I can say now, welcome to the professional wrestling business, because... Just expect the unexpected because these guys can't be any worse are, than what I can't even be can't can't be any more unexpected than what I've already. I mean, you know, walking well, these down. Guys, you're getting you're getting you're having problems with the fans in Fire Bubba. These guys aren't liked by the other boys. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Right. These guys aren't even liked by the town in the back. Dixie doesn't like them. Spike TV doesn't like them. And the only reason they're there is because they draw numbers. So I'm just telling you. Right. If I had a chance to ride in a Rolls Royce or ride in a dump truck, I'd probably ride in a Rolls Royce. No, not the Rolls Royce. I mean, if I had to ride, a chance to ride in a Cadillac, you're going down the road for a rough ride is what I'm trying to tell right. you. I understand. I mean. That's you know, cool with me. I mean, I'll sit back and, and do nothing. Fun watching it, You'll sit I back and do nothing. Like you done, you know, you didn't. You weren't there to save me with Kong. You weren't there to save me. I'm your well, best. He was friend. there. He just didn't do anything about yeah. it. When well, I got how, hit, the hell, how the hell am I going to know some girls going to knock you? When out? I got yeah. hit by <laughs> hey, when I got hit by Kong the next morning, Spice. He called up and laughed. He at called you. in and laughed about it. He didn't even say, "Man, that's bull." You know what? That's just not cool. That should not have happened. He, even like, I don't count a program like that. Yeah, I was like, "All oh, right, you got sputtered by kids." Oh, I mean, come on, Hogan. You, you kind of hang me out to dry a lot. You know, I'm your best friend. No, but it, it was kind of funny. Yeah, it was but, real funny. Know, it was real funny. I'm just telling you, long term. It was funny when the Undertaker of... dropped you on your head and almost paralyzed you in Detroit, too. Oh, that's funny, too. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just telling you, there's a bunch of other roads you could have taken. Well, you okay. Know. where could, What could I have taken? Well, am I going to be Kurt Angle's uh, buddy? Am I going to be, I mean, you're not going to go out there. No, we were just trying to find the niche. I mean, you know, I, I mean, I, I could have been, I, you know, I see that I've been your best friend at the at the business as Abyss. I mean, he's your little buddy now. I, I mean, I'm not even your best friend at, at work. No, I don't, I don't start working. I'm not here. I'm not working, work but I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I might as well be honest with you. Hell, I don't yeah, even. Don't, I don't yeah, even. Now you're working. I, no, I'm not I mean, working. I don't even see you at work. You just you're all up. You and Abyss are making out. I mean, I was like, are you kidding oh, me? See, you're 